Hello, my name is Evan Rogerson, also known as Nine Mother Gang, and today I will be covering how to qualify for your event region championship or state championship in the U.S. and provincial championship in most of Canada. As an example, I will be using the 2022-2023 season within Kansas in order to demonstrate how this process works. This process is also described in full in the REC of qualifying criteria, which I have pulled up right now. But this can be a bit of a read to go through, and it also does not cover all the edge case scenarios that can pop up at a tournament. So to start, you'll pull up Robot Events, and you'll have to look at your region, the season that you're going for, and then you want to list all the events, and I will be doing high school here. So you can see all of the high school events right here. In order to figure out what's going on first, we're going to look at the first tournament of the season. So as you can see in the awards category, it lists which awards specifically qualify for the event region championship. That is decided by your event engagement manager, and typically larger events will receive more qualifying spots. Now we won't have to keep looking at this because I've gone and make a, made a spreadsheet that contains all the information that we're going to need. So this contains the skills scores from this event, and then it also contains over on the right side who won which awards and which awards were qualifying awards. So as you can see, the Excellence Award and Tournament Champions were qualifying awards. This means that teams 7862D, 7862A, and then 7862D is, again will all receive qualification bids to the event region championship. You can see that I've highlighted them in bright green to show that they won a qualifying award. Now, because 7862D won two awards, their second qualification, the tournament champion, bounces down the skills list. So what happens is you go and you look at the skills list specifically for this event, and you'll see 7862A would receive the spot. However, 7862A had already won the competition. Then it bounces down again. 7862D is already qualified. And then it bounces down to 6711R. And since 67101R did not qualify at this tournament, they were not a tournament champion or excellence award winner, they received the third and final qualification bid. You can see over here on the updated skill scores, this contains the skill scores from all the teams in Kansas, and you can see which three teams are qualified for state, and this will play more of an important role later on. Now we move to the second event of the season within Kansas. This is the Baser Linwood Tournament. Now, Baser Linwood was a blended event, and it took place in Kansas City, which, as you may know, is very close to Missouri, actually, most of the cities within Missouri. So this event had a large number of out-of-state teams and middle school teams at it as well. So I went through and I highlighted all the teams in red who were not a high school Kansas team, and this is very important. And there's no easy way to figure this out. You can pull up the event on Robot Events, and you can go through Finding which state a team is from is pretty easy, but finding out their grade level can be a bit harder. If they have it in their organization, you can see if they're high school or middle school. But then beyond that, you have to start looking at the team and which tournaments they're registered for. And you can see there were four awards at this tournament because middle school and high school excellence both received a bid. However, all of the teams who won the qualifying awards were from Missouri. So the same thing happens if a middle school team from out of state or a high school team from out of state wins the awards. So Kansas State bids from a Kansas tournament cannot go to a Missouri team. So you can see over here that since all the red teams are highlighted, it has to bounce down to the first available Kansas team, then the second available Kansas team, then the third available Kansas team, and the fourth available Kansas team. Despite the Middle School Excellence Award being offered, no Kansas middle school team qualified for the event because it just blindly goes down the skills list, and all four of these teams were from high school. So then we go to our updated skills list, and you can see that it's starting to fill in a little bit more with 20 teams. Now we move on to Gordon Parks. This tournament was extremely simple. You have three spots and three unique teams all won the qualifying awards. Update the skills list again. Then Textron, this was a larger tournament, so the design award was also a qualifying award at this event, and it also contained an out-of-state team, 3141A. All of the qualifying awards were won by Kansas high school teams, so 67101C and 7862D both received qualification bids. This 
ignores the fact that 7862D is already qualified because that was at a previous event. Then, 3141A cannot receive the spot, so the extra two spots bounce down the list to 7862A, and again, it ignores that they are already qualified for state. Can't go to 7862D because they are already qualified at this tournament, and then bounces down to 7862B. Skills list is updated. Then Northwest High School, again, familiar scenario, excellence tournament champion, right there. And then you can also see the additional spot that 67101C1 bounces down to 67101X. Skills list updates, and now you can see it's definitely starting to fill in. And since this team scored a good enough skill score to qualify at the Baser Linwood tournament, their spot stays locked in throughout the season. Next, we move on to Viking. This one also contains some out-of-state teams, with one of the tournament champions being from out-of-state. So they cannot receive the spot. 15352A and 7862F receive their spots. The additional spot bounces down the list to 755H. Skills list updates. Then Derby, again a larger event, so Design Award qualifies. And Design Award does not factor in your team's competition, so this one can definitely get some teams with lower skill scores qualified. But then again, four spots, one, two, three. Six of a one c double qualified for state that day, so it bounces down to 1771A. Skills list updates. Hillsboro, very simple three spots, they all went to three different teams. Skills list updates. And then this is the last qualifying event for the season within Kansas, T-Calc. So at the end of this event, some very important things are gonna happen. So Excellence Award goes to 67101C, Tournament Champion goes to 67101C, and an out-of-state team. So the extra two spots bounce down the list to 6711G and 15352G. Now we're going to update the skills list again and it's going to look a little bit different. So as you can see in bright green I have highlighted all of the teams who won their spots throughout the season. These are the same teams that were highlighted over here. Now the Kansas Event Region Championship had room for 24 teams. So, it's going to have to fill up the additional spots in some way. So, at the season skills ranking, the EEM will go down the list to the highest skills score team who is not already qualified, in this case, 7862T. And then it bounces down until the state championship is full. So, all the teams who won state bids throughout the season are locked in, and then it bounces down the additional skills list. So all the top 16 skill scores in the state qualified. And then since these teams had either fallen off in skills or won design awards, they wouldn't have qualified if they hadn't got their spots earlier. So the big takeaway here is, is to make sure that you run skills, because there's a very good chance that if you put up a good skill score, you're gonna end up qualifying for your event region championship. In addition to making sure that you put up a good skill score at the end of the season, it can be equally as important to put a strong skill score up at the beginning. After all, all of these teams who qualified would not have qualified to state if they hadn't have put up their skill scores as early as they did in the season. So 6606B would not have qualified if they hadn't have gone to that tournament in November and put up a good enough skill score. So make sure that you're running skills throughout the season, especially at larger tournaments or tournaments that contain lots of out-of-state teams. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below and ask them, and I'll try to get back to you. If this video does well, I'll make a similar video covering how to qualify for VEX Worlds. And this information is subject to change. Always check the qualifying criteria, as this is the official document that contains all information on how you qualify for state and worlds.